someone asked a question on the Elemental Forum about how could I have a couple of images side by side and when I hover over them they grow and the other one shrinks. Someone called Brent posted a bit of CSS code on how to do this and I'm now going to share that with you in a link back to the original bit of code from Brent is in the video description. By the way I do have a to scale pixel ruler there just because I wanted to show you how you can start to control things a little bit. So over here we have a parent container and inside of there we have two child containers. Now if we go to the parent container okay there is no class name here but this is where the code sits okay but I'm going to come back onto that. Inside here we have two child containers. This is obviously set to be a row so they are side by side. Both of them are set to be 50%. So by default when you're looking at the screen before you've hovered they are both 50% and both of them have the class name of hop. H-O-V and that's literally basically it all right there's no custom CSS in there for the child if you wanted to add something in you could do but the child's uh, children they're both 50% and the class name is Hov now let's go over to the parent container where we did have the CSS so this is only going to be activated for your desktop sizes basically or anything you know from the tablet onwards because it is set to be a minimum width of 768 mainly because if you had this activated on your mobile it probably won't look so good that being said go and test it out because you might like it but sometimes hover effects on the mobile don't always go so well especially when you're scrolling up and down and then everything starts to move and then you have cls kicking in cumulative layout shifting so this is what this says dot hov obviously the class for the two child we have a transition of 0.5 so if you want the speed of how it grows and shrinks to be quicker or slower, you can do that. 0 0.5, 0 0.4, you know, they're reasonable values. But here's what happens. The width is 70%. So when I hover over there, it's growing. Now, I will make clear, though, it's not exactly 70%. Let me just explain that. If I go and set this to be 50, remember that both child or child, child children containers are 50% by default. If you hover, nothing happens because they're already defaulted to 50. So you've said hover 50, well, it's already 50. If I was to change this to be 30, watch what happens if I now shrink onto this one here. Now that's because of the way the parent container is currently set up. So if I go back to the parent and I now go and set this to be start, it will now move. I'm just showing you how you can understand the CSS code and how the direction and the justified content of your parent container does matter. So that is now shrinking to 30, but that one will stay as 50. Now, when you go as default, they're both 50, okay? So when you do that, notice the image, it just moves along, okay? Don't be fooled by what I did there because that is now 50 on the left and 30 on the right-hand side image. Let's go back to the advanced tab, Q limitative. Now, if you were to go and set it to be 10, you will get a bit of a jerkiness occurring because it's now rearranging and moving. Let's pop that back to 50. Now, if we go to 75%, so this image by default is 600 pixel. 75% would be 900 pixel because this is a 1,200 pixel boxed width parent container. You hover over it, it doesn't actually go to 900. Look at the ruler above. That's because you've got a bit of size over here as well. So I want you to understand that if you go and do something like 90, it will go a little bit more, but it still has this image on the right hand side, okay? And if you start to do grow or shrink, that doesn't work for you. So I just want you to know that this is a pretty simple, it works, it's really, really good, and I think it's pretty versatile. I mean, what you could also do is if I was to now go and duplicate, if you wanted to have a bit of like this grow effect with additional child containers, this is a really neat bit of code. And because it's a child container, you can drop what you want into there. So if you want to drop headers, headers, headings, headers, text editors, buttons, icons, yeah, an accordion, probably not a good idea, but if you wanted to drop something in, you could do. So Brent, excellent bit of code there. I mean, it's a really simple bit of code, to be honest, but I never even thought of doing that. And when you see it, you go, oh yeah, why did I not do that? Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Don't forget to check out our $1 business packs. I'll see you soon.